everybody I just want to do a quick little video to uh, show you the correct way to make to transfer money around your accounts using Quicken uh, I know I personally searched far and wide on the internet and didn't find anything easy to understand and I used Quicken for a full month doing everything completely wrong so I set up a, a dummy account here and I'm going to show you how to properly transfer money to savings, uh, to a credit card to make a payment, etc. And I'm going to show you why you'll want to do it that the way I'm going to show you versus the way that if you knew to quicken, you're probably doing <laughs> the wrong way. Uh, I don't know. You may, he may have figured it out. Uh, I know I used to use, I used to have a business and I would use QuickBooks. And in QuickBooks, you debit and credit. You're always doing a debit in one account, credit in another account. Quicken doesn't necessarily work that way. Uh, it, Quicken does have categories that you can uh, create that are either expenses or income. Uh, so you can get some good reporting on your expenses or income. But if you, but as far as debiting, let's say uh, debiting your savings and crediting your uh, checking account, you know, moving money between the two. Unless you know what you're doing, you're going to do it wrong. It's going to end up showing up as an expense rather than just a transfer. So let me show you what I mean first. Now let's say, all right, I'm in checking. And let's say I want to move $100 to, uh, to my savings. Okay, so I'm just going to call my payee savings. And a category which typically would be, uh, let's, let's, see, let's see if I can't find it quicker here. It's a savings category that's set up. There you go, deposit to savings. And then I'm going to do, let's say we're going to put $100 there. And uh, make a payment out of my check into my savings. And you'll notice, first thing you'll notice is it, it took the money out of my checking account, down 100 bucks, but it did not put it in my savings account, which is what you would expect. Uh, you would actually have to go, to do it this way, you would actually have to go in here and, and uh, call my checking, did this. And we uh, deposit, uh, deposit to savings. So we'll just put a deposit of $100. I hope I didn't confuse anybody just then. But anyhow, so now we have $1,100 and $900. Everything's right. But look what happens when we go home. I haven't spent a penny, right? So you notice we went to our home tab. If you click on spending, it's going to show that you spent $100. Uh, when you, Actually, all you did was transfer money. And if you look at savings... It's deposits and savings was to one hundred dollars. It's in if you look at your if you go to your category list and deposit, you'll notice it's a type is already it's an expense account. There is no way to set up an account that you do, you as a category you have to either declare it to be an expense account or an income account. The only way you can set up an account to transfer this neither going to be neither income nor expense is going to be during your account setup. It will do it for you automatically. Look, let me show you uh, here in your uh, category list. Uh, let's see, where is it? There we go. Click on transfers. You'll see it gives me three accounts to transfer from. Bank, credit card, and, and another bank, savings and checking. And they're neither expense nor are they uh, income. So let's, let's do this. Let's redo this transaction. And let's go ahead and delete it. And let's go ahead and delete this transaction here. Okay, and now let's do this. Let's do a um, savings again. Savings. And we're going to transfer. 
to savings. And it's going to be $100. It pre-filled it. This, that's a, it could be a whole other video on your memorized pay list. But anyhow, uh, we're making a payment. We're transferring $100 uh, from the checking to the savings. So we'll click save here. And you'll notice right here, savings is now at $1,100. Checking is now at $900. It's exactly how it should be. And it shows here the category came from our checking account. And in checking, it shows the category went to the savings account. Uh, so that is the proper way to transfer money around. Now let me show you. When you click on your spending tab, you'll notice that $100 is no longer listed. So tomorrow when it updates right here, had I left it the other way, it would show $140 in expenses. Uh, but now it won't do that because you don't have that. That hundred dollars showing as a payment it's just a transfer that's how you do it it's really that simple it's just that i got i tried to find something to show me that it was that simple and i wasn't able to so i hope this helps someone if this helps you how about liking it uh, share with somebody leave a comment and you have a good day thank you